What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and Merry freaking Christmas to all those who are celebrating. And since I have an awesome brother and family, I got an Xbox One X for Christmas. So stoked to get on there and play some Destiny 2 and see how much better it is on the One X. But it has to download and get set up. So as it does that, I figured I'd make a short video on this Strikers Shorthand new sword and of course the Iron Banner new hand cannon. And being that, I'm talking about the Criminal's Dagger. Now it is a 110 rounds per minute hand cannon, much like the Duke. Comes with Zen Moment Outlaw, Appended Mag, Extended Mag, Steady Hand, and Fast Draw. I mean, what more can you ask for for a hand cannon, Outlaw, and Zen Moment? Pretty godly roll right there for the Crucible, and that's just right out of the gate what he's selling. So make sure you go grind some Iron Banner, pick this thing up. I got a good gut feeling that this thing is going to be amazing. Now jumping right into that little grind that you gotta do to get the striker shortcut sword. Now first is gonna be getting a weapon core, of course, just like every other powerful weapon frame. Now this has to be done on the EDZ, and you also need cabal kills, so the best place to do this would be the gulch. And for those who don't know, you don't actually need to kill the high value target. All you need to do is open that chest, and you can open them before you kill him. The reason I do this on the Gulch is because the Gulch is usually packed full of Cabal to kill. And as you wait for the high value target to spawn, you can go ahead and kill the Cabal and get your 25 of them that you need. Now much like every other powerful frame, the next step is going to be your powerful enemies defeated and the 50 of just regular enemies. Now for me, I always do this powerful enemies on the Leviathan, because as soon as you spawn in, boom, there they are. There's six just standing right there ready to, for you to kill. Now since this is a sword frame, it's good to note that you have to use a sword while getting these kills for it to count. Another thing I'm going to mention guys, is you don't actually have to have sword ammo in your sword. You know, you're going to run out pretty quick getting 50 kills. You know, if you spawn in a place, you're probably only going to have 17 to 20 sword ammo. So it is nice that you don't have to actually have the ammo. You can just use the sword without it. Yeah, it might take a little bit longer to kill more powerful enemies without the power ammo. But hey, thanks Bungie. This is a lot easier not having to wait for your powerful ammo to drop. Then finally, you can move on to your next step, which is going to be 15 multi-kills with the sword. And I always do this step on the Core Terminus Lost Sector on Mars. And the reason I do it here is because you can normally get your 15 multi-kills before you make it to the boss. And for some reason, the boss in this Lost Sector will drop 10 of your Radiant Seeds. Now, the main reason I want to make this video, guys, so I can try to help you out and get this stuff done a little bit quicker. And I've seen a lot of other people posting some videos on stuff like this, where they're literally just kind of running all around the place, just not really knowing where stuff is or... How to get it done now the first time you run in here you're going to get your 15 multi kills and then you're going to kill the boss and you're going to get your 10 radiant seeds then simply you just fast travel right back to the break tech and then you run right back in don't have to worry about the end just run straight to the boss kill him and you'll get your other 10 radiant seeds and be able to move on now for some reason i always forget to do this but after getting your 20 radiant seeds you do have to go back to ada I always end up having to run the forge twice because I always forget to go back to her and accept it. But after talking to her, you're finally ready to forge the new sword. And of course, that has to be done in the Vlunder Forge this time. And that sums it up, guys. That's all I got for you on this subject. If the video helped you out, go ahead and give it a like. Newcomers to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for some more D2 content like this. Now, if you made it to the end, guys, go ahead and put a comment down below. Let us all know what your uh, best Christmas present was.